Greetings and welcome to 5-Minute Weekly Scripture Reveal Bible Study dedicated introducing all to the Word of God intending faith that comes from hearing, and that is hearing the good news about Christ. We are spiritual beings living in a physical world that have spiritual needs. The Word of God is the only place to deal correctly with our spiritual needs, and here's the challenge. Non-believer, let God's Word declare God's Word to you, igniting faith within. And believer, let God's word boost God's word, increase in faith within. Today's scripture study title, Jesus Teaches Openly at the Temple. It can be found in John chapter 7, verse 10 to 24. We'll be picking it up at John chapter 7, verse 10, 11, and 12, New Living Translation. But after his brothers left for the festival, Jesus also went, though secretly, staying out of public view, verse 11. The Jewish leaders tried to find him at the festival and kept asking if anyone had seen him, verse 12. There was a lot of grumbling about him among the crowds. Some argued he's a good man, but others said he's nothing but a fraud who deceives the people. Now, this verse is letting us know after Jesus' mocking brothers left for the festival in Jerusalem, Jesus also went, though secretly. Jesus would not go up to Jerusalem for the purpose of showing himself to be the Christ, which was what his brothers had told him to do. In fact, Jesus could not be found during the first few days of the festival. The crowds were buzzing with opinions, and Jesus... I'm sorry, the crowds were, uh, were buzzing with opinions about Jesus, yet there was no clear consensus. The Jewish leaders were actively conferring and watching for the right time to legitimately arrest him. The tension-laden atmosphere fostered both excitement and treachery. John chapter 7, verse 13, New Living Translation. But no one had the courage to speak favorably about him in public, for they were afraid of getting in trouble with the Jewish leaders. Now, in this verse, we got to understand about these Jewish leaders. They had a great deal of power over the common people. They couldn't do much to Jesus at this time, even though they wanted to kill him. These Jewish leaders threatened anyone who might publicly support him, meaning Jesus. Removal from the synagogue as a reprisal for believing in Jesus. So the religious leaders, if you went to Jesus and talked about him and lifted him up and all that he said he was, the religious leaders had something for those people. And it wasn't good. It was to be put out of the synagogue. Jesus' listeners had their opinions, but were afraid to express them. They created a power stalemate between the religious leaders and the crowds. That was God at work. John chapter 7, verse 14 and 15, New Living Translation. Then midway through the festival, Jesus went up to the temple and began to teach, verse 15. The people were surprised when they heard him. How does he know so much when he hasn't been trained, they asked. Now, we got to understand some things about verse 14 and 15. Midway through the festival, Jesus came out from secrecy, secrecy and began to teach in public in the extremely visible outer court of the temple. Now, you still got to understand the atmosphere was tense and emotional. When the Jewish leaders heard Jesus, they were surprised at his knowledge, having never been trained as a rabbi in their schools. Jesus had no official human certification. You do not need human certification to deliver the message of God. You only need God's certification, and that comes to his spirit. Jesus spoke with authority without relying on license or degree to legitimize his teaching. Today we covered part one, Jesus teaches openly in the temple, John chapter 7, verse 10 to 15. Next week we'll pick it up at verse 16. You can find this teaching on youtube.com channel, Minister Panky. If this teaching has blessed you, please hit the subscribe button. 
Thanks and God bless.